Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another Iron Man video on RS3. So what I'm going to start off by doing is take your guys' advice for the next killing. I need a superior void elite, or at least elite void. And I'm going to first do a void dance quest and then after that I can do the void stairs back and that will give me two elite pieces and I have to use 100 commendations on the two other pieces to upgrade them to elite. Then I have the full elite set and then after that if I want the superior void elite I have to get 200 more tokens for every Every single piece I want superior void elite so it's going to take a very long time but I definitely think it's worth it so let's get into it okay here we go this is going to be the end of the avoided dance quest it was not that bad uh, there was a puzzle in the game with chemicals that was really weird in the beginning it was so confusing but then I kind of realized how to do it and it was actually very easy to do every single guide explained it like the worst way possible but there we go anyways one quest point 10k hunter and herbal experience, 8k summoning and woodcutting, 5k thieving and construction and mining, 50 commendations. That's actually going to be very useful for when I want to upgrade with those tokens my other stuff to superior. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. My screen is frozen. This is the third time this has happened on this minigame. This is actually so strange. I mean, it worked once and then after that it just keeps crashing. It's so obnoxious, but hopefully I can complete this soon. Okay, finally, that chess part was actually so annoying. I failed so many times. It took me like an hour to do that. But that is the Void Stairs back quest completed. And I got the Void Elite top. And I think I should have got legs as well. I, I don't know. I don't remember. But anyways, let's see what these uh, books give. Is it only combat experience? Yeah, I'm just gonna do summoning. How much is it? 50,000. Wait, that's actually a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna get 100,000 summoning experience. That, that's pretty neat. Oh, that's actually 98 summoning as well. Only one more level until another 99. Okay, so unfortunately, no one plays pest control. Like, at all. And I asked in clan chat how to get superior void delete if no one plays this minigame. And you know what they said? Don't get superior void delete for next. That's what they said. They said in the current state of the game, you just want to play Sirenic. Just go full Sirenic gear if you have it and just go and kill Nex. And that's even if you haven't really killed that many Nex and you're not that good on Nex. So that's kind of unfortunate because I can't even get Superior Void Elite and even if I would get it, it wouldn't be that good. And I really thought it would be a good thing because of the hybrid gear with the melee boots. But apparently I just asked in the clan chat and they said just go full Sirenic, it's way more efficient. But anyways... Regardless of that, I still got the quests done and I needed to do them anyways in the future So I'm just going to get into next now and try with full Sirenic. It's actually going to be quite interesting to see how that works out Okay, this is going to be the second kill. Hopefully I don't die from the death animation. That would be kind of awkward Let's see what the loot's going to be. Oh grimy torsos. I actually think I need those by the way 7 and 49 minute kill there 40 torsos is pretty good. That's 40 overloads uh, that's going to be very useful. I don't have that many overloads left, but enough to do some next skills. Okay, I'm actually really getting next down right now. I, I'm not really using as much food at all. Look, I have all this food left after the kill. Unfortunately, I got a uh, ceremonial legs again. I have already these in the bank and I still have to get the KC every single time. By the way, the drop is Aventos and Dwarf Weeds. How many is that? 75 of each. Wow, that's actually so much. It is a new month, so just quickly between the next kills here, let's see what I get from the oyster. Aw, oh, dude. <laughs> the average oyster reward, I guess. But we get farming experience and fishing experience from this, so that is really cool. Am I close to any of these? No. Okay. Apparently I don't have to book farming experience because you can just do player-owned farm. I haven't really got into that yet, but it seems very good as a daily. But I'm just going to do rune crafting now because I just really hate that skill. Like, all you do is just sit AFK in the rune span. So, not really the most fun thing to do. So, I'm going to book that. 45,000 experience. Only 7k to 77. Pretty nice. Okay, we're back to next with another kill. Let's see what the loot's going to be. Oh, Onyx Bolts E. Wait, how much is that actually? How many? 375. Holy shit, that's like a 3.5 mil drop or something. Or like at least 3 mil. Very nice. Okay, another next kill. I'm slowly getting better at this, so the kills are going a bit smoother, especially the ice face are going way smoother now. So let's see what uh, I get now. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Virtus Boots. That, okay, that is so insane. Like, this is literally the craziest loot I could have got. I mean, the best would have been like a Virtus Top or a Robe Bottom or whatever. But I needed this for the mage gear and I get the boots. 
I am so lucky, it's actually insane. Okay, let's see if we can get a back-to-back -back loot here. Probably not, but you can always hope for it. Okay, that is not an item. That was an 8-minute kill, by the way, a bit slower. But what is this? Okay, restores and Saradome Bruce. It's actually not that bad, because I still need uh, restores, really, at this point. Okay, so I'm trying the Reckless R now. I was actually kind of uh, scared to use it, because it increases your damage taken as well, and I take so much damage from mechs. Uh, but it seemed to be fine. I got a 7 minute kill with that and I got Ru Runite Stone Spirit. Okay, dude. <laughs> 80 Runite Stone Spirits. That's like the worst drop I can ever imagine. Okay, another kill. Hopefully I don't die from the explosion. That was pretty close. 5.39. That's a new personal record. And restores and brews again. Okay, I had no idea. I just got 50 million ranged experience. That's like halfway to 120. Okay, uh, I was just getting my KC and now I have more than I need. But yeah, th <laughs> uh, that was a quite a surprise. Okay, this was pretty scary. I have like no food left almost and I'm gonna kill it here. Look, I had only one shark and then a few blubbers left. But the loot is... Stone Spirit again. Okay, dude. <laughs> I feel like getting these drops is just so sad. Like... Why did they have to put these on boss drops? That's what really annoys me. Like, the stone spirits could be good. I mean, when I tried to go for summoning, I used all my runite stone spirits uh, for the runite bars. But why does it have to be a boss drop? I even forgot I had this, but I had a hard casket in my bank. By the way, look at this in the chat. This guy is trying to scam me. Quite kind of sad. But anyways, I'm going to open this and see if I can get... If I can get a Saradomin page. I really need a Saradomin page right now. My book is like three minutes left, so hopefully I can get that. Is that a Saradomin page? Uh, dude, if this is a Saradomin page, I'm actually the luckiest person in the world. Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, that is uh, a bit too lucky, to be honest. Wait, what? No, it's an Armadillo book. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, that's kind of, uh, yeah. Never mind this clip, dude. Okay, so I'm going to take a break from next, and I want to learn the player-owned farm. I'm going to have to look into how this works quite a bit. I mean, I did the tutorial, and it seemed... I mean, I understood like 75% of what I was doing. Some of the time I was so confused, but it seems kind of easy. Um, I want to get the Psygomite thing, because that is for my level. Uh, but I think it's kind of hard to actually get that at this current point, so I have to do something else. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to look into this. Hopefully I can get some nice daily farming experience from this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I bought the large pen thing and I'm going to try to get a yak so I can put it in here and start breeding because that is for 71. But I need to get 20 mahogany planks. I, I'm pretty sure I have that in the bank, but then I just have to make the rune nails. Okay, I just got the uh, materials and I'm gonna build this now. And now I just have to get one of those yaks, which... Oh, that's actually quite a lot of crafting experience or construction experience. Now we just have to get one of those yaks, which is apparently 1 in 3,000 of killing normal yaks. And probably equally as rare when making the pouches. So I won't actively farm for it. I'm just probably going to do it uh, with my Crimson Charms when I actually go for 99 summoning and hope to get one. Okay, so that is the last Bloodwood tree I can cut today. And every single day I will roughly get like 200 of these bolts then. And I have to make them into ruby bolts. It's going to be so useful for next. I heard these are like the craziest bolts in the game pretty much. And I'm going to have to get maybe some rubies out of my bank. I have a lot of them most likely. Yeah, look at this. I can make so many ruby bolt tips. It's going to be very, very good for next. Uh, but yeah, every day I will have to boost to 93 fletching. And then uh, I can make these bolts, and then after that I have to boost again to 95 to be able to make the ruby ball tips. So, quite annoying with the boosting, but it's going to probably be worth it. So I actually really want to be able to use my armadillo book, because it only has 3 minutes left, and I really want to use it for next in the future. So I'm going to use all my hard clues and my elites, and get all the caskets and then open them at the same time. It's going to take quite a while. I'm going to have 6 elites and 25 hard. So hopefully I can get some armadillo pages from that. So just to not have a single clip where I open like 30 caskets in one. I'm going to open these 6 elites now. And then I'm going to do 10 hards. And then I will open those 10 caskets. And then I'll do 10 more. And then I'll open those. And so on. So I'm going to open these 6 caskets now. And see what I get. Again, okay, master clue. I can't reroll that, but no armadillo page, unfortunately. No armadillo page there, and no master clue. I don't think I can actually do master clues at all, pretty much. Okay, samurai page three. I don't need that, so I'm just going to reroll that. Okay, no more page there. 
three more. Okay, no page again. I don't really care for all the other rewards, to be honest. Like, yeah, it's going to be good. Wait, what is this? Lockbox skipping ticket. That has to be for uh, Master Cruise, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, that's the one where you match, like, the uh, different combat style ty styles, I think. Okay, so no... Um page yet is what's what it's called uh, okay no page here either and then one more reroll and no page okay so the rewards are pretty good for elites anyways i mean the seeds the potions all this pretty decent one master crew as well all right so we have 10 more hard caskets so let's start opening these hopefully from these 25 overall i will get some sardomin pages that's a reroll. As long as I don't get a Sarah page for something really, really good, I will reroll it. Okay, a rune play body T. I think the next one I can reroll as well. Yep. That's a rune helm G. I don't yeah, you can't even get lucky components from that, so that's useless. Okay, a page, a gothic one though, unlucky. Uh I guess oh! Black Cavalier. Yeah, that is a lucky component because it's worth like 600 k Okay, nothing. Oh, wait, reroll token hard. Oh, okay. So it's just another reload uh reroll, I guess. Well, I guess I'll just keep this so I can reroll twice. Yeah, that's probably worth it. I, I wonder if it's just activated automatically. Oh, I have to redeem it. Okay. Cloak Tower Teleports. That's new. I've never seen that before. Okay. No pages yet. Oh, a compo. Those are locking components. I'm going to just redeem this. Yeah, there we go. Um. Oh, three costume skipping tickets. Very bad. I, I have all those costumes. I don't need it. And I get not skipping tickets. Okay. No Sarah pages yet, though. Wait, did I drop anything? No. Okay, I just need to bank real quick. I already have Gothic's pages. Quite a lot of them, actually, I think. Okay. Only three more. Oh, Samra Kelm. Not a lucky component, though. Unlucky, so I'm going to reroll that. Into some lucky components. Not too bad. I will need those in the future, by the way. It's to make a necklace that gives you some good stuff and also something else. I think it's the ring, the Luck of the Dwarves one. Okay, Rune Plate Legs. Played skirt G, and then the last one is going to give me, oh, a red dragon mask. I already have that, and I'm not sure if I have the played skirt samurai, but that's some more lucky components. Still no Saradomin pages. Hopefully, I will get some from the next ten. All right, I have ten more caskets, and then we only have five more to complete. Let's uh, go through these real quick and hopefully get some Saradomin pages. If I don't get a Sarah page or something insane, I'm just going to reroll it instantly or go for the next one. I've actually. Grand Exchange Teleport, that is something new. That's a page, but not what I need. Reroll again. Okay, that's a Samurai Plate Body. Nothing really that useful. Still nothing. Oh, H1. That is a lucky component. It's kind of weird how the uh, age items are lucky components, but not the uh, Samurai stuff. Or like Saradomin and so on. Can I deposit? <laughs> so I don't have to. Okay, there we go. Uh... Probably have space to open all these four now. So let's do that. Okay, reroll this one. I feel like, how rare is it actually to get Saradomi pages? Oh, a Robin Hood hat! That's only worth 500k. I guess it's worth the same as like everything else for the lucky components. Because I'm pretty sure that gives it. I think that's my third Robin Hood hat. Because I have one keepsake and now I have two in the bank. Yeah, but not very useful, I guess. Oh, oh, dude. Wait. Is it actually an armadillo book? Wait, maybe it's an armadillo book. I can't remember which one I have. Oh, it is an armadillo book. Great. Okay, sorry for saying uh, uh, Sarah Domin all the time. But that is actually perfect. Now I have... How much is this? One and a half hour of charge. That's actually so good. This is exactly what I wanted. And... Okay, no more pages. One and a half hour on the book and I still have five more. So let's open those. Oh, and another thing, that was actually the last ancient page. I got the ancient page 4, so now I have uh, all the pages to make the ancient book. I don't know how good that is, but hey, I can do it now if I want to. Okay, so we have our last 5 caskets, and by the way, I'm just going to show you guys this. Like, when I need my lucky components for the Luck of the Dwarves ring and the necklace that I can't remember the name of, like, look how many I have. All these uh, age items and all this is going to give me lucky components, and also, one thing that's going to give me so many is the magic composite bows and the U ones. They are like 500k each, which is pretty crazy, like, these composite bows together is like 45 mil cash on a normal account, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to open these and hopefully get some more armadillo pages. Next one we can reroll. Okay, yeah, I'm going to reroll that, nothing too much of value. I think I have like 550 of the uh, purple sweets in the bank, so that's some more. Another master clue. I actually don't think I can complete any master clues right now. 
Uh, I got one. Oh, another composite ball. That is pretty good. Okay, so I got overall two pages. I have one and a half, one and a half hour of charge on my book, which is actually pretty good for next. So that's going to definitely come to use. Oh, did I finish the Gothic's book as well before? Oh, no, I didn't. I have one, two, and three. Okay, so I need the fourth one there. But yeah, that is at least some hard clues done and some elite clues. Pretty sweet. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'm really happy about those Virtus boots that I got and the two quests that I got completed, even though it was kind of for nothing. But in the end, I need to complete all the quests anyways. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I'm going to just say one more thing now, but this is the end of the video. So if you're not interested in that, then you can leave now. And I thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. But what I'm going to talk about now, super, super briefly, is that I might be streaming. I'm not sure when. It's just an idea that I have that I might do streams where I then also make a video later on where I just compile some stream highlight clips with, uh, which makes it pretty much into a progress video, but not really. It's just like stream highlights. And then also on top of that, I will do my progress video. So it's literally just extra content. So if you're interested, in my streams or something like that it is uh, at the moment my stream handle is alone underscore ow uh, the um, link to it will be in the description of this video and I have no idea when I'm going to stream but I will definitely make an announcement on this YouTube channel uh, when I'm going to stream so if you want to be 100% sure that you know when I'm going to stream you can either follow my twitch now already or you can uh, turn on the notifications on my youtube channel by clicking the um, there's like a bell thing beside the subscribe button which makes it so it's 100% chance that you will see my videos and uh, if I post a video that I'm streaming you will definitely see it so that's all I wanted to say hope you guys again enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one guys take care